Welcome to the Siemens TIA Selection Tool. In this video tutorial, we would like to show you a clever and easy way to connect sensors and actuators to the control level using the IO Link communication system. To complete this task, we are going to use a so called IO Link master communication module. It can be used with the following systems the Sematic S7 1200 controller and the Sematic ET200SP, ET200AL, ET200S and ET200ECO PN distributed I.O. systems. We would like to show you the integration of I.O. link capable products using the example of a Sematic ET200SP. To start with, we need to select the suitable communication and interface modules. You can see the number of connected devices directly above the slot. This is where we are going to configure the module. As you can see, it provides four ports to which IO Link sensor and actuator modules can be connected. The first digit of the classification shows the number of the IO Link master, the second the number of the IO Link port, and the third of the subport. By clicking on the plus symbol, you can connect new modules to the ports. You can then edit them by clicking on the wrench symbol or delete them by clicking on the recycle bin pictogram. As soon as you add function modules or motor starters, additional options pop up. Now up to four additional devices can share one port and are each assigned to a subport. Apply saves your configuration. Now you can see that we have extended our communication module by several components. To provide a better overview, the TIA selection tool has created a subfolder. You can select the devices directly from the subfolder, edit them or add further components. As we have shown you before, you can also add devices to the subports for the IO link module types function module and motor starter here. Thank you very much for your interest in the TIA selection tool and the IO link communication system. For additional information, please use the shown links.